Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hello, I'm Tim Van Orden with The Running Raw Project. Today I'm going to talk about a study that just appeared in the Journal of Functional Foods where they looked at apple consumption and its effect on heart disease, specifically the oxidation of LDL cholesterol. I'm sure you've all heard the old saying that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, in this new study, it looks like there may be a lot of truth to that old statement. What they found in this study was that the consumption of one apple a day, just one, reduce the oxidation of LDL in your blood by 40%. That is a huge reduction. I'm going to talk about LDL cholesterol and oxidation in a moment, but first let's look at how this study was set up. They took participants and broke them into three groups. The first group consumed a single apple every day for four weeks. The second group took a pill every day, and inside of that pill were the polyphenols, which were the chemical compounds inside of the apple, natural chemical compounds, inside of the apple that work as antioxidants. So they figured out how many of these polyphenols would be in a single apple, put it in pill form, and gave those participants one of these capsules per day for four weeks. The third group was the placebo or control group, and they took a pill every day for four weeks that had nothing but sugar in it. At the end of the four weeks, the group that ate the apple a day had a 40% reduction in oxidation. The group that took the polyphenols had a significant reduction in oxidation, but not as much as the apple group. So the whole food appears to be better than the concentrated pharmaceutical grade polyphenol pill. So whole foods win in this case. And the placebo group saw no reduction whatsoever in the oxidation of LDL. So apples for the win big time. So what is LDL cholesterol and oxidation? Well, there's a lot of confusion out there in the media right now because you hear people saying that LDL cholesterol is the bad cholesterol and HDL cholesterol is the good cholesterol. Well, that's not accurate. It's pretty far away from what it really looks like inside the body. LDL and HDL are not cholesterol at all. LDL stands for low density lipoprotein. HDL stands for high-density lipoprotein. These are transport molecules. They're proteins that deliver or transport cholesterol and other fats and lipids in the blood. So these LDL and HDL particles are kind of like school buses. The LDL particles pick up fat and cholesterol after digestion when it first enters the bloodstream and they deliver it to cells as needed. They go along the route and they drop off little pieces of fat and little pieces of cholesterol that the body needs. And yes, we do need cholesterol. I'm not saying we need to eat it, but we need to produce it and then utilize it. You're not going to be healthy if you don't have any cholesterol in your blood. But we'll get to that later. And these HDL molecules take fat and cholesterol away from the cells and they deliver it back to the liver where it can be broken down, reprocessed, repackaged, or eliminated. So the LDL and the HDL are not cholesterol at all. They're simply the school bus drivers or the transport molecules of cholesterol. So they are neither bad nor good. They are just the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. So the problem is oxidation of these LDL molecules and not the LDL themselves. If the LDL has to deliver a really big payload of fat and cholesterol, it's going to stick around in the blood for a longer period of time, which means that it's going to interact with oxygen for a longer period of time. Now, oxygen is a very aggressive molecule. It likes to bind to things and take away their electrons. And when you take an electron away from a molecule, you damage it. It's like coming over and taking off my ear. I can't hear now. I'm not fully functional or taking away my tongue or an eyeball or my heart. This is essentially what oxidation is. These free radical molecules going around and taking electrons away from other molecules. And in doing so, they damage them. So you've got the LDL moving through the blood and the longer it's there, the more likely that it's going to interact with one of these thug free radical oxygen molecules or other type of free radical molecule and it's going to become oxidized. When the LDL becomes oxidized, then it becomes dangerous. So you want to avoid your LDL getting oxidized. 
It's not that having LDL is bad, but having oxidized LDL is very bad. That's when it will attach to your arterial wall and create damage or plaque. So what you want to do is consume fruits and vegetables that are full of antioxidants. That's what this study was all about. The antioxidant molecules in apples are called polyphenols, and these particular polyphenols protected the LDL molecules inside of the participant's blood and reduced the rate of oxidation by 40%. So this study shows that a very simple way to significantly reduce your chance of heart disease is to just eat an apple a day. But imagine what would happen if you ate two apples a day, or some apples and some blueberries, or some kale and some strawberries and some kiwis and some apples and some bananas, and you get the picture. The more fresh fruits and vegetables that you're eating, the more of these phytochemicals, phytonutrients, polyphenols, antioxidants you're getting in your diet, and the less chance of oxidation there is. All right, so fresh fruits and veggies for the win. Another way to avoid oxidation of your LDL is to reduce your consumption of heated fats. Most of the fats that we are consuming, vegetable fats, are very, very unstable, especially when subjected to heat. And when you heat them, they very quickly oxidize, with the exception of coconut oil. Coconut oil is very stable, but most of the vegetable fats that are used in American cooking are highly unstable and will oxidize quickly. And when they do, they produce molecules called lipid peroxides. These lipid peroxides are really dangerous characters, just like the oxygen molecules in your blood. If you've got lipid peroxides in your blood and your LDL is transporting them because they're fats, lipid means fat, so you've got these oxidized fats inside of your LDL, what's going to happen? they're going to oxidize the LDL from the inside. Not just the outside, where the oxygen is attacking it, but now it's going to happen from the inside as well. My conclusion is this. If you want to significantly, dramatically decrease your chance of heart disease, increase your consumption of fresh fruits and vegetables, especially apples in this case, and decrease your consumption of heated fats. If you can do those two things, you're going to stand a much better chance of avoiding heart disease. Okay? I hope that was helpful. See you soon.